released in Iran or I guess Fred today without a war, without some major conflict that resulted in a whole bunch of needless deaths. You just wake up today and people are released. Now, this is so hard to speak about because this is being tied to the uh, Iran nuclear de nuclear deal. And there's obviously shifting opinions about that and different views on whether it's good or bad. I've, I've heard both sides. And <laughs> sometimes they just say it's bad. They don't even explain it. They don't say it's good. Well, when they say it's good, they don't even explain it either. You're kind of just left to interpret it and do your own little research. But if this is what it accomplishes for America, and again, I don't know all of the details of the deal. I'm not in any way tied to the Obama administration. I don't have any uh, first-hand knowledge of everything. I'm just kind of trying to take this from a first-hand account. And if it, if it accomplishes more things like this where we don't have a second, a similar to the, some, something similar to the Vietnam War or World War III or uh, have to implement the surge again, I'm just, I'm fine with it. Because when I, when I turned that TV on and they said these people are released, I didn't think about the Democrats or Republicans, I just thought about Americans. And it didn't matter to me what affiliation those people themselves may have, I was just glad they were coming home. Not, not only because I, I didn't think it was right that they were even being held there in the first place, uh, even though you could, I guess, argue that they uh, violated some law over there and they had to comply with the law. It's also the fact that, at the end of the day, you, you can't allow affiliations with some viewpoints to determine whose life is more worthy than anyone else's so again I was I was so happy just seeing them the announcement because they didn't even have uh, on CNN they didn't even have the pictures up of uh, all five I think it was four or three there's one that they just they know nothing about how they have a person up in a jail in another country and they don't have any images of them any, I don't even think they had an account of who he was. It was just this name on a screen with a little, I think, a question mark or something else to denote that they, they had no idea who this person was. The, unident the invisible, unidentified man, as they uh, would lead you to believe. But I, I, I'd like to believe that they um, didn't know much about him. And that's why I didn't put anything up. Why else would they uh, not include any details about him? But even then, I'm 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 still just ecstatic that a conflict was ended without any bloodshed or fighting or issue, and there's no repercussion to uh, there's seemingly no repercussion. I could be wrong. I could be uh, incorrect about what will happen in the future. But at this point, it looks looks good, and so does the I Iran nuclear deal. And I really wish someone would just take the time to explain in some format, be it an article, be it a, a video, why it's why it's bad. I've heard reasons as to why it's good, but every time I hear it's bad, it's always someone just saying it's bad. It's ne there's never an explanation. So I just I really I just I'm not going to derail this into a questioning of that, but. I need some type of explanation because when I see this, I don't, I don't think it's bad at all. Um, and again, I'm not, not credible on uh, all the knowledge relating to it, but this, this has made my day. This has made uh, January 16th of 2016 a great day. Just automatically, just the fact that we, we, we gain people. We didn't lose people. Well, we probably lost someone in some city, but it's, it's nice. It's nice to know that conflicts can still be ended or controversy can still dissolve without some funeral because someone died due to whatever happened that just uplifts me so much oh man for alive again all right take care